It's now two weeks since adding the freshwater mini biota to the saltwater mini biota that you see here. There is so much work ahead to complete this as a totally closed ecosystem. However, one of the things that I'm tackling this week is the vegetation, which is too overgrown on both of these sides. There's way too much detritus. And so I've added detritivores and herbivores in order to have a hopefully positive effect on this ecosystem. All right, well, it's a little difficult to see, but I caught one grasshopper of this new species that I've never seen before. And uh, looks like it's a full grown, very small adult, which I think would just be perfect for an ecosystem like this. Uh, so this is the first of hopefully more of these species, but I'll go ahead and add it now. And there it is right away. It looks like it's perched up here on a grass blade and uh, we'll just monitor and I'll see if I can find this species throughout time. And uh, hopefully we see you again, little grasshopper. I also found some crickets and another grasshopper, which this one here is a little bit bigger than uh, the other species that I've found in the past. I'm not sure if this one's going to do well in the ecosystem, but I guess we'll see. And hopefully it does consume a lot of that grass. Now these crickets, on the other hand, I'm not 100% sure on these, these species. So there's definitely some research that will be required here, but these crickets are just amazing i've had them before in the ecosystem and they've reproduced and have done really well and also i would like to add that there is definitely a singing male right there let's see if we can get it a little bit better okay so we have a male that is currently singing we also have an adult female which is right there in the middle of the screen here. And then there's three juveniles and uh, they're a mix between juvenile females. This one I think is a male. I know that there's a juvenile female over here somewhere and a, th and a third juvenile. Oh yeah, right there. And so these five crickets are going into the ecosystem and I do expect that they'll reproduce. So I'm really looking forward to that. And I hope that they establish a really strong population within this ecosystem. So the only thing that has made them go extinct within the ecosystem is that there was a, at a time there was a tadpole that that grew into a, a leopard frog and and that leopard frog just devastated everything in the ecosystem. I eventually took it out because um, you know, I didn't think that there would be enough to really support it. So, um, but that was, um, that was a while ago and it completely ate all of these crickets, but, um, I love these crickets because they are very small and they do seem to do well within the ecosystem. There's always enough to eat. And I think that they play a really vital role within their environment. So here we go. We're going to add these crickets to the ecosystem now. Now it's time to add the new crickets. So five crickets and a larger type of grasshoppers. Okay, so I've just dropped them in and I honestly cannot find them anywhere. They are definitely inside. The only one I can find right now is this grasshopper. So let's see if I can zoom into him a little bit there. And we're gonna monitor him and make sure that everything is okay there. But as far as the crickets go, I cannot find them at all. And I've, I mean, I've only been looking here for a couple minutes, but they are immediately just hidden which is pretty cool, I think, but I know that they're in and they're safe because one thing that I can hear is their cricket sounds, which I'm gonna, I don't know if the microphone can pick this, I don't know if the microphone can pick this up, but here it goes.
So they are definitely in here somewhere, but they are just very well hidden. So I'll just continue to listen out for them to make sure that they're here. And, um, and of course, just observe the tank as often as possible and see if I can find them later down the road. I caught some Suriname roaches in the backyard and I'm gonna add them, although I do have these roaches already in the uh, mini biota, I'm gonna add more just because I think the system can always do a little better with, with more. Um, I in particularly love these little roaches because they're really good detritivores and so they are the ones that really break down all of this dead plant material that you see here. They are really successful insects to have in here uh, because they burrow underground, which means that they're out of reach for prey during the day. So they actually formed a really nice relationship with a gecko that I used to keep in here. Um, the Suriname roaches would, would hide and uh, really only come out at night and the gecko would find them at night and would eat them up. And these roaches reproduce a lot, so there's always a plentiful supply of the roaches and a plentiful food source for them as well. And so here we go, I'm gonna add them now. Remove this top here. Let's see, bottoms up. As you can see, they just hide really fast and they just start to look for cover and they will just burrow under everything that they can find. So overall, they're really cool insects to have. They will turn over the soil, eat all the dead stuff and reproduce quickly and become really awesome prey for a lot of the other organisms within this ecosystem. Overall, the goal for the terrestrial side here is to add some more herbivores and detritivores. And the reason for that is that we wanna see that the grass is getting eaten down and new grass is growing in its place. And that way you don't get so much of this dry grass um, and all this other dry vegetation here. Um, and then in order to do something about all of this dry vegetation, I'm adding more detritivores to hopefully start to bring all of this stuff down. I think that once the rain system is working, so all of this is causing rain to happen more frequently here, I think that it's gonna cause this dry vegetation to break down much more quickly. I'm also trying to have a little bit more um, habitat in this area. And I think it's just gonna be better for smaller organisms to be able to, to live and, uh, and, and, and basically create a protein factory for some of these larger organisms. And that way we can increase the complexity overall of this ecosystem. But that's pretty much what I'm looking to accomplish on this end. Uh, there's a lot of different things happening with this project in parallel. Of course, on this other end, there's a lot of work still that's left to be done. And one of those works is the wave system that I'm still developing here for the ocean side, which is a straight pipe that is pulling and pushing water back and forth out of the system. I have a linear actuator now, and that linear actuator is going to ultimately control the tide. So when this is higher up, it will have, uh, the system will have a higher tide. When it's lower down, the system is going to have more of its water drawn into this pipe and it'll be a low tide. Um, the wave system here is simply going to drive this mechanically up and down in a loop. And that's pretty much what that's going to do. At this point, it is still in development. And, um, and that development is just really prototyping things. So I have a, a car window lift motor that's driving this mechanism. And, and um, we'll see how things go. But so far, it's promising. It's um, strong enough to, to be able to move this pipe back and forth, so we'll see how things on this end go. But I think that once the wave system is working out well, that's at the, that'll be the point where I really start to add a lot more um, into this tank. Right now, everything is stable and I have air oxygenating the water, but uh, the water quality, obviously, I mean, the, the water test at zero, so um, no nitrates, no ammonia or anything like that but the water is just filled with algae and 
Um, obviously, there's a missing piece to the balance of that ecosystem. Overall, this project is moving along and I do plan on having more updates regularly for this system. And uh, what that means is that I'll look to update at least once a week. That is the goal. We'll see what time allows. But if you like this comment, I do appreciate the engagement. So if you have questions or if uh, something didn't make sense, just let me know in the comments and I'll respond to those comments. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you next time.